All right, welcome everyone. It is um, September 28, 2023, Community Mentorship. We're so grateful to be here with you guys and uh, looking forward to answering your questions on connection, uh, uh, commitment, communication, confidence, and uh, anything you have questions mm -hmm. on in that area. Or if there are no questions, we're just going to go with the topic that we have in front of us. Yep. Yeah. I was just looking at my notes here that I've taken recently that I've been, so I, I take notes almost, almost on a daily basis of wise quotes, things that are revelatory to me or that really are, um, how would you say? Speak to you. Yeah, they speak to me. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what I was trying to say. And uh, and then I like to share those sometimes. Um, I'm just looking for a good one to chat about. One thing that I really learned uh, this week, today, actually, and I just wrote it down today. It says, if we don't separate the wins from the losses and celebrate, mm. we won't enjoy and appreciate the wins and victories. Mm -hmm. And if we don't celebrate the wins and the victories, then, and 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 it's all the, you, psychologically, it's all the same. And you get bummed out, you tend to get bummed out with a loss. Mm -hmm. And because you haven't had, you don't have an art programming in your mind to celebrate when you do have a win and a victory. When once you eventually do have a win or victory, mm -hmm. it you, you still feel, you have that feeling of you can't appreciate the win and the victory because you're wondering when's the other shoe going to drop mm -hmm. like this win and victory is just a fluke you know uh you know you, you're not you can't enjoy it and appreciate it if you're not intentional about celebrating your wins and victories so, so celebrating your wins and victories whether it is it can be as simple as Taking time to go spend 10 minutes out in nature, just meditating. Mm -hmm. Go for a hike. Go go do, it, it can be just a small thing. Or it could be, you know, go out to eat. Yeah. Uh, go go do something super special for a day. It, it can be as big or as small as you want, but you got to have something attached to it to Train your mind to appreciate the win and the victory mm -hmm. and not give in to that negative mindset of like, oh yeah, that's that's great and all, but you know, you know, now no time or now just... <laughs> it's like when you have 90% loss and 10% victories, and all you see is the losses, then the victories feel the same as the losses, mm -hmm. and you, your brain doesn't make the distinction. Yeah. So that's the one thing that's like, oh, that's really good. Yeah. So did you have and anything on that that you'd like to share personally as well? Yeah, I would say, you know, all of us have a different way of celebrating things. And I feel like in nowadays, most people are so busy and it's just so hard to take time off to celebrate. And we almost like run right through the wind and be like, Phew, okay, let's go. You know, it's like not even not even taking that time, but it is important to to celebrate. And we're learning that as well. And we're very good at going after things and pushing through things. And then when the winds come, we just like, okay, awesome. And then go right back into the action. So by celebrating it, we're actually opening up this um the flow of more wins to come, right? Because now we're, we acknowledged it. Well, it's actually, it's a cycle of expressing gratitude. Yeah. Gratitude is involved when you celebrate your wins and victories. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. intentional gratitude acted out. Yeah. One thing that Jesse and I were talking about earlier, and he was saying that, you know, God is faithful all the time, right? Even if we don't see something happening, we still need to be thankful and have gratitude and praise him, even if we don't see it, because he works in, in the back somewhere. He works things through. If we don't see it, it doesn't mean it's not happening. 
So we need to approach our wins like that too, is that, okay, it actually happens. We see it. Let's go for it. Then celebrate for the future wins too. And celebrating your wins and victories also produces more wins and victories. That's true. Yep. If your only reward is freedom from pain, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll burn out. Yeah. You got to have a bigger vision than just escaping your current pain. Mm -hmm. That does motivate people to move forward. Um, but if that's all that you do, is that is that the if if escaping pain is the only reason that you're pushing forward and getting victories, mm -hmm. it's out of balance mm -hmm. because there's 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 a balance between those two escaping pain, but then also going towards what you, your vision of what you want to create. Yeah. And if you just have one or without the other, that's out of balance. And so if you have the escaping the pain without having having a vision to also pull you like mm -hmm. you know the escaping pain can be kind of uh, a push so to say so mm -hmm. to speak and the vision can be pulling you so you gotta have push and pull both yeah and if you just have the push but not the pull you're gonna burn out for one you're gonna be negative when you do get wins because it's all about escaping the negative instead of moving towards the positive that's so good. it's about balance that's good so what are the things in your life that you just had a win on have you celebrated have you taken that time if not it's not too late right we have a shabbat coming out here friday nights saturday it's celebration it is rest it is uh um recognizing you know things that happen during the week and maybe um going through things and saying okay i need to just refresh my brain i need to take time off off from from this you know chatter in my mind so get those things on the list maybe and don't do it on saturday maybe do it on friday so that you can rest on saturday that's the one of the best days to celebrate and to rest as well that's right yep all right what else we got since no uh, no questions are forthcoming yet, yes, we'll Facebook create them. Family, let's, yeah. let's see your questions. I have my phone right next to us here to see. Absolutely. We're streaming are... this on Facebook and also on Zoom on a private group. So it's two different platforms. If you are listening here and you see a comment section and you, you want a question answer, has anything to do with especially relationship oriented mm -hmm. or anything that's remotely connected to that, yeah. pop it in here. Believe you me, if we don't know the answer, We'll make a note of it. We'll go research it, and we'll ask wiser heads than ourselves, or even or God. You know, yeah. we'll we'll find the answer and bring it next time. Okay, uh, because honestly, we care about people, and we want yeah. people to be victorious and to win in God's kingdom. You know, I was thinking too. We talked about that in my our previous Zoom. Is that how important it is to learn how to express yourself? in the verbal way that brings you confidence to be a better communicator and practicing it more and more gets you to become even better and better in communication so you are getting after going after two things right you go in after confidence and communication and you're probably going to be addressing commitment because you're showing up and you're voicing something that's been maybe inside and you haven't had a chance to share before or you felt like maybe you're not even like oh yeah you know I don't have anything important to share well you do everyone does there's something in you that no one else has mm -hmm. and because of you showing up and sharing someone might have a breakthrough someone might have a revelation someone might have a day that's that brings them joy finally or or you know peace or hope or whatever that is are you willing to say that are you willing to show up are you willing to share things with people yes and on that note um oftentimes i've been in this cycle myself so i can speak from past experience but a lot of you that are listening may be able to relate and that is if you are ex experiencing undesirable situations in life that are painful or uncomfortable, 
and you want to move to a higher platform and, and rise above that challenge, mm -hmm. but you don't know how. First of all, asking questions opens your heart and your spirit to receive the answer, mm -hmm. okay? Now, be mindful of rhetorical questions, which are actually dis statements in disguise. Very good. And rhetorical questions are making a statement, mm -hmm. but they're not opening you up to receive an answer. Mm -hmm. So be mindful of that. Ask questions to learn because you genuinely want to receive. And the evidence of a question that causes a response, uh, the, the re recept receptors in your spirit and heart to open up is when you write down the answer. Mm -hmm. If you don't write down the answer to the question you've been asked, it's not saying that you'll necessarily forget it. However, there's power in writing things down because the more uh, more physical action and uh, the more of your five senses you can involve in the answer, the more you will retain it, internalize it, and actually walk it out in action. So if you don't know what questions to ask, start writing down those questions that do pop up when you're on the go, have a notebook in your pocket. If a question rises up that you want to ask God, mm -hmm. you want to ask a mentor mm -hmm. or a friend or your mom and dad, write it down. Because nine times out of 10, you're probably going to forget that question later on. Mm -hmm. And not saying you always will, but oftentimes we do. We Like we're randomly in our thoughts while we're working, going about our day. And a question pops in, huh, I wonder about X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. An hour later, you're like, you have, you remember you had a question, but you can't remember what it even was. Mm -hmm. So write the questions down. And once you get the answer, write down the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is evidence, that, uh, that is action, taking action towards receiving yeah that's absolutely. not random so super simple concept i maybe belabored the point but i want to really 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 get have you grab a hold of this mm -hmm. to bring questions in the appropriate time requires writing them down and that in, also indicates that you're serious about receiving the answer that's if true. you're if 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 you don't don't take the question seriously you also won't take the answer seriously mm -hmm. the quality of your answers are only as good as the quality of your questions and your heart behind it. Mm -hmm. So, That's and good. with that, if we lack confidence, we won't be able to communicate and define our questions. Mm -hmm. Lack of, uh, if we often, as when we're in a in a in a place where we don't know what questions to ask, there's also a little confidence. If you go to a uh, uh, conference where there's high level people there, like high profile business leaders, like we're like as big as you want to go, millionaire or billionaire conferences, or, or uh, high spiritual, high level levels. spiritual, high level conferences, there there's going to be an ocean of questions that the speaker could answer to where he can't possibly answer all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, the ones asking the questions are often seen by the rest of the crowd as the bold and confident ones. Because most people, a lot of people, the, a, a large portion of a crowd in any setting in front of a speaker at a conference are going to look at the person with the question like, wow, he's, he's brave, he's bold. You know? mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought of that question or I wouldn't have the guts to ask my question or they would never answer my question or I don't even have any question or worse, what's a question? <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? The ones asking the question in the crowd are often seen as the most confident ones by the others. Mm -hmm. So your confidence is demonstrated with your questions. And this can be your daily sanctuary practices, even as you're writing a letter to the Father, to God. In the Myopic 30 sanctuary practices that we encourage everyone to do, if you need, if you want them, they're free. We'll give them to you if you give us a place to send them to, the template on how to do it. It's when, you know, we always say that the letter to the Father is to release and get the junk out. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you have, if you're having a great 
morning and you have nothing to write down that's negative or nasty to get out, then ask questions. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you the quality of your questions to God will also determine the quality of his answer to you. Because the quality of God's answer to you is determinate upon the hunger from which you are asking. Mm -hmm. And God will always meet that. You know, one thing I was thinking also on communication. So we covered some on confidence. And communication is reveals where your level of confidence is. And when you are not asking questions, it also can, like, I'm, I'm speaking in relationships, in friendships. If you're not asking questions, a lot of times you might look like you don't care. And how many people want to be in the relationship with someone who doesn't care? And, you know, asking how, like, oh, do you, how's your day going? It's a good question, but it's very surfacey, right? Very quickly. Or how are you? Okay, cool. Yeah, I ask those questions too, but if only if you want to lead to the next question and then it's more polite, you know, that's kind of an American style question. How are you? How are you doing? How have you been? Those are actually right? almost almost borderline rhetorical questions that are more like a statement of yeah. like saying hello to somebody. It's, it's like, hi. You know, how are you doing? Well, does the person actually want to know what, how are you doing? They probably, a lot of times people don't. They're just saying hi. And that's their right. way of saying hi. Yeah. So, so, you know, think of that too, is that if you are really curious about the person that you are talking to, you're probably going to have questions. And we covered that before in our previous um videos but I want to bring them up again because it is so important and I feel like a lot of times people are braver on their phones and their social media messaging that they are in person with another person keyboard warriors yeah so let's go over them we talked about an um form what is form family occupation recreation message and what is the message? As you ask, well, the form is family, occupation, recreation. Ask a person questions about their family, mm -hmm. their occupation, their recreation. The message is their sign. And you will look for Not their the horoscope. Yeah, sign. you look for their sign as you ask questions about F-O-R. And sign is for strengths, interests, goals, and needs. So as you ask the person about their family, their occupation, their recreation, the message will be their sign which is their strengths, interests, goals, and needs. Mm -hmm. And you can affirm the person in that, edify them in that, encourage them in that, and even offer your assistance in that, that, in, that need mm -hmm. and identify and recognize their strengths and their interests and their goals. Yeah. And so, so you ask those questions, questions that relate to your family. And if that's too, if that's, if you need even more details, we have a free pdf that we'll send you if you ask for it mm -hmm. just show us where to send it to that gives you even more detailed questions that you can ask in each one of those categories yeah to so, give you I mean you can even have fun with you know as a you know a date ask each other these questions right. we should do that too again yes we haven't in a while those who are couples you can use those questions too and then there is the next level we have more questions that we ask it's uh Called, we call it felt spar questions. And what, what's felt spar? Uh, yeah, we encourage especially sparring, the spar part of this acronym for strangers mm -hmm. or people that you don't know super well. Now, after what you- What spar means? I'll get there. So felt spar is an acronym. I'll get to that. Uh, so felt, uh, I'll, I'll give it to you right away. Okay, so it's financial, emotional, leadership, dreams in mind, or dream, dream slash mind development, spiritual, physical, adventure, and relationships. Mm -hmm. And you get to know each other's dreams and goals and victory markers in each of these eight categories. Mm -hmm. Now, to the degree to which you know the person is will determine whether you do the um, F-E-L-D. Mm -hmm. 
But if you don't know the person super well, then stick with the SPAR, S-P-A-R. Mm -hmm. And we also have that as a PDF. If you want to ask for it, we'll and send it to you. And what questions come with that yeah. in that category? So there are a lot of things that you can do to get to know the other person. And also how to have a conversation in that too. It's not just an interview style. How to become natural at that how to honor person, you know, it all comes with practice. And guess what? The more you ask questions in the other person with a, and express genuine interest, mm -hmm. the more interesting you will be. Mm -hmm. Other people see you as very interesting and they'll want to hang out with you the more you express genuine interest in them. And genuine interest is, is, is a um, portrayal. Uh, I say it. genuine interest in another person is displayed in the in the heart mm -hmm. you put into your questions to that person that's good like even if you want to take it to the next level when you're talking with another person and you're asking them questions about you know to get to know them and you're taking notes mm -hmm. <laughs> that that that's next level yeah because now you're serious about remembering it mm -hmm. yeah you know, it's it's really awesome. By the way, ask their name too. And remember that their name and address them by their name because their name is the the best word. And I get their phone them. number. Get their phone number. Put a note on, under their profile on on what what you want to remember about them and where you met them. Mm -hmm. And maybe if it's a new Yeah, person. especially if it's a new and after about a week, yeah. send them a mess text message. Hey, just saying hello thank you it was so great to chat with you the other day and yeah and so these are just the beginning the leading edge of the steps you can take to increase and expand your realm of connections mm -hmm. whether it is just plumb to become a better communicator a better connector mm -hmm. or maybe you want to get married well these steps will definitely help you and we have so much more we're just scratching the surface there's yeah. so much more that we, we have in our free uh, at my Epic Your Life Epicenter school group. Mm -hmm. School is kind of like saying Facebook. It's the platform. School is the platform. And it's a very private community that is the, the technology is set up to support uh, the learning, and, uh, the, the learning and the educating and the coaching and community mm -hmm. uh, without all the distractions that Facebook has. And it's free for you. <laughs> If you want to join, we can send you the invite link, link, set up a profile, and boom, you're in, and you can enjoy all our free content. Like this, this video here is recorded and will be posted there. Mm -hmm. You know, so things like that. Uh, we're putting out more and more free content on there, simply to bless, bless, bless. Our our paid stuff is more where we directly work with you. Mm -hmm. That's where you're paying for our time, but our content is free. You know, you can learn everything we're telling you on Google and YouTube. Mm -hmm. and chat gpt it's all out there what people pay for is organized information with a structure and a strategy and a plan and accountability mm -hmm. okay so that's what we can bring to you however everything we're sharing with you it's all over there we invite you over there um yeah we have four more minutes i wanted to ask you to take action because without action all of this is pointless it's going to be a lot of hearing the information and it's going to go into one ear and out of the other ear, maybe a small percentage is going to settle in your brain. But are you going to practice it? That's where it comes, you know, success comes from practicing and taking action. So this week, I encourage you to use the things that we just mentioned, use form, sign, and felt, maybe felt spar or just spar with the people that you already know. Do you, and you'll find out how well you know them. And you can find out more and more things about them. And listen, even if they're your family. It's good to form loved ones occasionally to update your, yourself yeah. on their dreams because seasons have changed. Seriously. And if you are married couples or dating couples, do it on your date nights. You know, use those things on the, your date nights and create this deeper connection by using these tools. And it's really amazing how much you can learn about 
those people that are close to you already. And it never stops really because we all evolve, we all grow, and we all have new things that we can come up with or dreaming about, right? So use those tools, put in the in the comments below, wherever you're watching, whichever platform you're watching on, comment below and tell us what you did. I would love to hear your actions, action steps. And also there. post in the comments something you would like for us to cover mm. in a future broadcast. Yeah. And by the way, we do these every Thursday, 3, 3.30 3, p.m. 3.30 Eastern to time. Eastern time for 30 minutes. And it's not always us. There's five of us couples that take turns. It's going to be us most of the time. And sometimes Carlos and Chantel, but there's three other couples that sometimes pop on as well to where we answer questions or just deliver the best content we can muster to, mm -hmm. to simply bless because that's the way the Lord told us to do it, to love each other and uh, every person listening here is a soul that's valuable in God's eyes and his kingdom. And you're worthy because you're created in God's image, if nothing else. Yeah. So invite your friends and family to pop on, hop on. We're going to be increasingly putting free stuff out here. And we'll, we'll be, we're growing and learning as well. So it's only going to get better because we're committed. Mm -hmm. So with that, thank you guys for, for the, I, I see quite a few people on tuning Facebook, in on Facebook yeah. since we decided to uh, live stream this thing on Facebook. So thank you for all who is tuning in and faithful ones that come every single week. You know who you are. We're grateful for you. And uh, take action. Take action and uh, experience the freedom and confidence, communication, commitment, mm -hmm. which is all and I'd like, I'd like to put one more plug out. Okay. Some of you might know that we have what we are, what we consider a flagship course, Connection DNA. Mm -hmm. If you provide us a referral that we end up closing, that they choose to invest, we will give you the course for free. Ooh. Wow. That's very generous. Or even That's... if you just give us a referral that decides to have a strategy call with us, we'll give the, the entire course for free. Wow. Now, this is, I'm kind of going off the cuff here. You are. Yes. Wow. But I'm willing to I'm do listening. it. I'm willing to do it. So if you want our best content, our best course for free. Wow. Well, I'm being guys. pretty bold here. So you guys, I, I've never done this before, but let's see what happens. <laughs> there you go. Let's see who's going to really, really, really want to be part of this. How badly do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> you help us? We'll, we'll all bless you. There you go. All right, everyone. Next time. Bye. Blessings. We'll see you next time.